Uh, thank you. Mr. Mayor, it is an honor to be here, and, and um, I, I love coming to Paris and have been doing it for some time. Um, and uh, my, I know there are lots of wonderful men and women who have come through Paris, Texas, that you all have uh, developed over the course of years. I'm completely and absolutely biased, though, when uh, I make the statement that the uh, finest product that Paris has ever developed was Coach Stallings. <laughs> Babe, thank you. And, uh, and I tell folks that uh, I am biased for a lot of reasons in that. One of them is I'm a fighting Texas Aggie. And I was just making the comment that, you know, it's always good to be an Aggie. I don't, you know, up or down or back or forth. But right now, it's just real fun to be an Aggie. <laughs> go, Johnny, go. So um, anyway, it's, it's, uh, this is a day of celebration. I was, uh, I was visiting with the mayor and, and um, uh, just thinking about what, you know, Paris has been up and down uh, economically, if you will, over the course of the, uh, of the years. And, and uh, when, when some of the major employers were making decisions about whether they wanted to be here or not, and we were all uh, working together and pinched up, whether it was in my agriculture commissioner days or uh, uh, subsequently to that. But uh, I, I just want to say to the Skinner uh, family and to the corporation, thank you all. Uh, we, um, some of you are <laughs> as old as I am, and uh, the bulk of you are not, but uh, uh, you'll remember Skinner Raisin Bran uh, that this company back through the years developed, and it was one of the great uh, products in that line. They don't own that product line anymore, but uh, uh, it, it, it brings back great memories. Uh, and, and now to have them uh, coming in to, uh, uh, to, to Paris, I mean, this is the right facility for Paris. And, and uh, they're, they're making the right call to, to bring this uh, facility back to life. And, um, and, and I, I want to say thanks just to the people of Paris and uh, for continually working and, and, and creating the workforce that a, uh, a company like uh, uh, Skinner would, you know, th th they could be anywhere in, in the country. They could be anywhere in the world. And, and they chose this city. Uh, they chose Lamar County because they understand that the workforce here uh, is the real underlying uh, strength. And um, the, 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 for the people who are going to be employed here, this is a great day. Uh, people who are going to be able to take care of their family better uh, because the Skinners believe in this community, they believe in this uh, facility. Um, you know, on, on top of uh, Campbell's um, announcement that they're going to be making an expansion here, uh, I got to say that uh, Paris and, and the state of Texas is on quite a roll economically from the news that's coming in. You know, other states, a, they may feel that we may be getting more than our fair share uh, of, of good economic news. And I tell people, I said, you know what? You make your good news. Uh, and you, you were part of that through the years as we were working on the, uh, the economic uh, uh, plan for, for the state of Texas and, and uh, you know, the fact is, today's announcement is the result of a lot of hard work, and hard work from uh, our, our friends over at James Skinner and uh, officials right here at the local level, uh, hard-working Texans across our state, who have made that phrase, made in Texas, uh, a, 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 well, I will suggest to you it's a worldwide mark now. I mean, when, when you hear made in Texas, When you think about some of the projects that have moved into the state over the last uh, uh, over the last decade, and uh, Caterpillar uh, it comes to mind, and and every Caterpillar engine made in the world is made in Seguin, Texas. They uh, they opened up a 1.1 million square foot uh, facility to develop all of the excavators for John Deere. And uh, that, it's, so, I mean, those are global companies that have global impact. And, and this product uh, is one that's going to have uh, global impact. And that hard work 
put us in a position to uh, uh, be able to close this deal. And um, the Texas Enterprise Fund has now, over the life of it, it's been in place nearly 10 years, some $487 million. And the result has been $17.4 billion of capital investment in this state. And uh, I think we're now somewhere over 66,000 jobs directly attributable to uh, that enterprise fund. And uh, that, that deal closing fund, I will suggest to you, were it not in place, we would have not been the recipient of a lot of those major projects that came into the state of Texas that are funding um, Christmases in Texas today. There are people who are going to have better Christmases today uh, because of decisions that uh, some of, uh, that our friends in Austin, Texas made over the last decade. And, and listen, we have made a commitment to conservative principles over the, over the last decade as well uh, that are the foundation of this economy. We don't spend all the money. Uh, we have that balanced budget every uh, two years. And, and uh, I will suggest and, and defend strongly that those uh, decision makers in Austin have made, by and large, good decisions and thoughtful decisions. Um, and, and listen, it's not just me. Chief Executive, uh, <clears throat> Chief Executive Officer Magazine. This is men and women um, <clears throat> like the folks at James Skinner who have to wake up every day and face the, uh, uh, the impact of taxes and regulations and, and competition who make decisions about where they're going to, uh, to, to locate or to relocate or to expand. And for the eighth year in a row, CEO Magazine has chosen Texas as the number one state in the nation to do business, and we're working mighty hard to make it nine in a row. Coach and I were talking about, um, he was talking to a group of foreign investors uh, and uh, ab about coming into the United States and investing, and uh, Foreign Direct Investment Magazine this last year chose Texas as the, the, the number one state in the, in the nation uh, for foreign investment into their state, to lure the foreign investment into the state. And, and I will suggest, the coach and I agree, that uh, you know, it's, it's having those types of relationships with countries who may not know uh, as much about America, may even be considered to be our, uh, not our, our friends in some circles, but the fact is the way that they get to be our friends is that we do business with them, that we, 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 we are fair with them, they need to be fair with us in the global economy. That is the type of reputation that the state of Texas is building globally, where companies will come and invest in this state because they know that there's still, that there's freedom in America, that they know that there is a place they can come and invest their capital, find that skilled workforce, can have a, a good return on their investment. And that's what we've worked very hard to do over the course of the last decade. And it, it all starts with having a job-friendly climate that men and women know. I, I, I was just sharing with your economic development uh, professionals here. I was in California Friday, and it's a beautiful place to visit. But I wasn't out there before the beautiful weather. Well, I enjoyed it, but the fact is it rained the whole time I was out there. I was out there to talk to businessmen and women about relocating relocating out of the San Diego, Southern California, beautiful part of the world. But the fact is they're raising their taxes and making it almost impossible for businesses to stay in California. Well, I want them to know there's a place they can keep more of what they work for. And that place is called Texas. And it's that competition that will make America stronger. So. Um, and, and it's, I tell people, I said it didn't happen by accident. Over the course of the last decade, 12 years, we put into place 
uh, tax policy, regulatory policy, legal policy. We passed the most sweeping tort reform in the nation. Now, I bet if you talk to the Skinner Company that one of the reasons they are looking to <clears throat> relocate here, it's multitudes of reasons, but one of those reasons is that they know they're protected from frivolous lawsuits. When we passed that uh, loser pay uh, to protection in the 2011, they pay attention. It makes a difference to, to, to companies like that, that they're being able to reinvest into their company or to uh, make better profits instead of spending those dollars defending frivolous lawsuits uh, at the courthouse. And um, we, we, we've set out to create a Texas where people know that they can find the skilled workforce. Uh, for the technical jobs that are that are required in a plant like this, that the workforce is going to be available. And uh, Pam, what you all are doing at uh, Paris uh, uh, Community College, at the, at the junior college, is just you know exactly part of one of the reasons I'll suggest to you that they came here is what you all are doing. The nimbleness, the flexibility of your being able to uh, address the job needs of whether it's Skinner or whether it's Campbell or whether it's some other company that your economic development professionals are, are talking to. So uh, we have truly dedicated ourselves to cultivating this workforce in this state. And uh, it, it's made a, a, a real difference, I think, in, in uh, the course of the last decade. So um, I wanted to say to all of you, thank you for allowing us to come and, and uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope all of you have a wonderful and a happy holiday and an announcement like this. Uh, gives us reason to uh, truly be thankful. 